So as usual, I was scrolling Twitter and I saw this tweet. Have fun with wonder discussions at this time, because in about a month or two, we will have people unironically say this. Now, as you see in the tweet, there is, I'm guessing, a forum and they were talking about Mario Wonder. Dude, look how crazy and wacky we are. I bet you never seen this enemy before. And look at the epic background changes. Mario is an elephant now. Okay, that just happened. We're not like the Wii era Nintendo anymore, guys. We're totally cool now. We gave Mario actual expression. Someone give us a medal. Please like us. And it continued on to say Mario has no soul. Meh. Mandate. Okay, we changed pretty much everything. Fake soul, trying too hard. And then under that, I guess somebody was saying, I don't get you people. Now, funny enough, Mario Wonder came out and we got to have the opportunity to play it this past weekend. How did you enjoy it? First off, before we even discuss like this utter, like I don't even understand this post for real. How did you enjoy it? Let me just tell you that I streamed on Saturday for almost eight hours and I beat the game. I absolutely love wonder do i feel like any of these things that were said were true no funny enough people have been arguing for years that oh mario is too stringent they're too strict with it they need to change it and that's what they did with this game this is a really really good 2d mario game and you can see all of the love all of the expression that's in this game in my opinion now Posts like these, I think, are going to be actually be more common. And then on top of that, I actually think another type of post is going to happen also because of the fact that people are going to be asking for DLC with this game. I think the, the content for this game is actually perfect. I think the replayability for this game is actually perfect. Like, it's really, really good. In my opinion, I, I think that they, they did a good job to make me want to go back in and play the game again. Now, there were other tweets of basically, you know, people talking about like the older Mario games, because I think that a lot of people's opinions were soured about these games. Now, the NC master said this. These games are still fun, but man, did they break our perception of 2D Mario with how wonder is blowing people's minds with even the simplest creativity. So they showed basically all the new Super Mario Bros, Super Mario Bros Wii, new Super Mario Bros 2, and new Super Mario Bros U. And all I have to say is that I feel like a lot of these were just building blocks. I don't know, maybe for me, I just feel like I see progress is what I see here. Now, funny enough, I have wondered this myself. I see Rayman Legends in this game. I don't know why, maybe it's me, but... That's what I see is a lot of the, the musical numbers and a lot of just like, first of all, we have to talk about the piranha plant level. Like the music in this game is absolutely insane. Now, as I said, there's a lot of building blocks here for just making an amazing platformer. And I think that's one of the bigger things. Yes, the backgrounds are creative. Yes, the, the story in itself, it's Mario. Like it's not, it's not that, it's not changed that much. Yes, you have to fight Bowser. But how they went about it and how you go through the levels feels so, like, just interactive. I really enjoy it. And somebody actually quote retweeted that tweet and said, both are delicious, but New Super Mario Bros. is basically vanilla ice cream and Super Mario Bros. Wonder is, like, the all-asserted, like, you know, toppings. You get your cherry on top. You got your whipped cream. You got your chocolate. And I I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah, no, they're right. But the thing is, back then, uh, personally for me, for New Super Mario Bros. Wii, I thought that that game back then was amazing. Like, I, I didn't get it at first when it came out. And I thought that they did a really great job when it came out then. Yes, they used the formula a little bit too much because it sold well. And this game is probably going to sell extremely well. If you haven't gotten it yet, I'm telling you, there are just so many changes. Even this one. So somebody actually brought up the fact that the best upgrade not being booted back to the world map. Now, I didn't realize it at first. Like, I, I was just like, oh, wow. Like, I, I didn't put it together that, yes, you get back right back into the action quickly. You can even turn off that badge option, which I, I love. There are a lot of things just that just allow for, like, quick gameplay. I, I have to say that I'm personally blown away at how they integrated the online, integrated people playing with each other, 
It is very seamless. Controls, amazing. I didn't think that, like, at first I was like, oh, maybe they're going to change something up. Nope, not slippery. I think that they are actually very tight. Only thing is that wall jump level. That wall jump level was, um, yeah, it was a little bit annoying. I lost my mind on my stream. <laughs> Watch this clip. But yeah, outside of that, we do have like, I don't know if you guys ever noticed like the photos. I have to show you guys this clip also. So I don't know who's taking these photos, but that's a very interesting photo to be taken at that moment in time. Hey, man, I know some of you guys are going to be like, hey, bro, it's a kid's game. Hey, man, hey, you know, Nintendo did some things to make this game. That's all I'm going to say. And one of the biggest things I will talk about is the fact that I'm really enjoying it. I, I have to say that personally, I have it up there as one of my game of the year candidates. Like, I, I that's just me. I think that this is really amazing. Funny enough, there was just so many games. My wallet can't handle this. Luckily, I don't have a PS5, so I didn't get Spider-Man. But there's just so much more that came out. You had Sonic, Superstars, and I'm just excited to be a part of this year for gaming. This year for gaming has been absolutely amazing. And if you want more in-depth, maybe talk about Mario Wonder, I'd definitely be down to do it. Let me know in the comments if you want me to go more about it. But everything from the level design, everything from just the characters and how they interact with the world, I, I absolutely love it. So let me tell, like, tell me down below, seriously, tell me down below what you think about Mario Wonder and where you would put it for your 2D Mario games. If you guys have been enjoying the content, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, because as you guys already know, I'm Ken Knows, and I've been putting a little bit of information out there on the internet, like basically on YouTube. So if you guys have been enjoying these just general videos, I really do appreciate all the love, likes, comments, and just people sharing it. I, I really do, thank you. So as I said, please, 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 don't forget, like, comment, and share, please. We're gonna have a serious conversation about what I'm about to bring up next. And usually I like to keep things lighthearted, but this is something that I've talked about at length on my streams, just in general. And because I've been a part of the Splatoon community, this is something that I have been sadly seen way too many times. And I'm gonna show you guys this image. And one of the things that you'll see with this image is somebody will probably say in the comments that, yeah, this is probably bait. And even if it, this is bait, it's just not okay in general. One of the things that I always try to like implore to parents, especially, I understand that it, these are different times. I understand that things should be different and things should be safer. But one of the things that we need to understand, especially for the internet, we need more safe spaces for just children in general. And a lot of the times that I understand, I love Discord, I love being on Discord, but Discord can be very dangerous. And one of the reasons why are because sadly of images and things like this. If you think this is a joke, it's sadly not. And in communities, I don't even know if this is personally for the Splatoon community or just for Discord in general. And as I said, I don't think that it's just Splatoon. It happens in Pokemon. It happens in just games that sadly attract children. And you have incidents that are like this. Now, I would really like people to understand, again, people online aren't your friends. All of them. Yes, they can be. I've met amazing people online. But please understand and please realize that you need to be careful. And things like this shouldn't be happening. And I feel bad for the artists that actually made the artwork because they were just doing what they normally do and just showing an image on Twitter. And then somebody took it and used it for the wrong reason. And 
for those that don't, don't understand that, yes, there are people that uh, sadly are weirdos and they take pride in some of these things. Yes, understand that. And I, I would really like you to understand that sometimes you don't know who you're speaking to. It's very interesting. Back in like the early 2000s, I feel like we tried so hard to ensure that like we were not speaking to people online that we just didn't know. And yes, times have changed. I would love for the fact that, yeah, if I play Splatoon, I meet people that are my age that play Splatoon if I was like 13 or 14 years old. But the reality is that, especially with how these communities go, you have to realize that we, in my opinion, need to make more safe spaces for children. I'm worried for it myself. Like, even if I have a kid and... I have to realize that one day they're going to want to use Discord or some type of open chat. And as I said, I would really, 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 really like people to be more careful about these things. Even the artists would themselves were upset. And I understand they should be upset. And as I said, one of the biggest things, if you are somebody that is in these discords or see something in a discord report, please make sure that you do. Don't just let the, these things lie. Do not let these people roam around. They are not okay to be in your communities at all. Like, it's not something funny. It's not a joke. It needs to be said. And I think that a lot of people just don't realize it and put it on the back burner. Twitter already is like a very interesting perspective because you have adults yelling at children, children yelling at adults. And it's a very different like situation, like as time has gone on. So I really would hope that people understand that I really do think that we need to make the internet just safer for children. And yes, we should expect adults to be decent people, but that's not always the case. So I would ask you guys, please make sure to protect yourselves. Make sure you're not giving away information or just like interacting with people that may be suspicious. Please understand that everybody online is not your friend, please. So you remember a while ago, I showed you the guy that had like multiple switches. Well, they had a response, not to me, but to people asking why he had that many switches. Let me show you the clip. You know, I like to joke about why I have so many Nintendo switches. I'm up to six at this point. And I thought I'd set the record straight. It's not because I want one for each separate franchise. But now after thinking about it, I actually do kind of want to do that. The next on my list is the Scarlet and Violet Pokemon Switch, and possibly even the Animal Crossing Switch. It's not because I need extra Joy-Cons because every time you look at them, they drift. But honestly, the ones that come in the Special Edition OLEDs are the best looking Joy-Con out there. It's not even because I want a Nintendo Switch for each one of my bathrooms, even though it's probably more hygienic that way. No, it's because the Nintendo Switch has sold 130 million units. The PS2 is the highest selling video game console with 158 million units. So I have to do my best to try to make the Nintendo Switch the best selling video game console of all time, obviously. Because honestly, who's out there that doesn't have a Switch and is going to buy a Switch? So maybe you're thinking this person is trolling and I'm going to be honest with you. I think they believe this. I'm going to be very honest. I actually think that they believe that they have to buy more Switches to help Nintendo. Now, Nintendo has a very dedicated fan base, and it is almost cultish. Now, as somebody that has three Switches of their own, don't ask me why, I can't really comment on the fact that he might have multiple six Switches for whatever reason. Now, I, I get it. Yes, at first, it looked like maybe he's joking. Maybe there's a little bit of a hint of a joke, but it's that last bar that said that they are trying to do this. I don't know. Would you do this? Are you trying to buy as many switches as you possibly can? Now, funny enough, this does happen with other consoles when they have like, you know, different types of releases. So I won't act like this is new. As I said, a lot of people like buying the custom like PS5s. There were probably a bunch of people that went out and had a PS5 already and bought the Spider-Man PS5. Now, does it make sense? No. Is it necessary? Probably not. But hey, that's how somebody else enjoys it. I wish that Nintendo would have just let us detail the Switch how we wanted. Remove the plates and give us different types of plates so we can put it on the back of it. Just being able to pick up different types of Joy-Cons. But this makes them more money. 
and they know that they have a dedicated fan base. That there is some. The funny thing is, this guy's probably not even the worst. There's probably somebody with all of the switches that they've named. Yes, that does include what he was talking about, the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet ones. Yes, and having also the Animal Crossing. There is somebody out there that has all of them and doesn't do content. They just like to collect. That's the reality of it. That's all it is. Some people really like to collect and some people have the money to do it. Could you argue that the money can go somewhere else? Yeah, it's not your money. That's sadly, that's that's the world we live in. It's not your money. So that's that's the reality of it all. But I believe them. They, they're going to make sure that Nintendo beats PlayStation, and that's exactly what Nintendo wants. So I've been wondering, what's been going on with Splatoon's online lately? I, I've asked this question before, but like week after week, it gets kind of like the clips get kind of crazy. And as I said, I'm just showing this just to build awareness to it. And that's really it. If you've had it happen, that's all it is. But there was this one clip from Jared, and I'm, I'm going to play that for you right now. Yeah. What the? Yo! Uh, what the? F Yo! What happened? <laughs> Dude, what? I got one. <laughs> what? <laughs> now, I don't know if you guys heard that. I don't know if that was the game. And I, I also, I, I would have to ask Jared if, if that was their fan playing in the background. Because it sounded like something was dying with the console. Not even joking. Like, something was dying. Now, this is something that I've been seeing, and I, it's like full-blown stops in the game. Like, I've had this happen, and I wish I could have, like, shown clips for it. There was even somebody else by the name of Legend that also had a similar thing happen. Like, they stopped right in their tracks when it happened. But I've been wondering lately, like, what's kind of been going on? And funny enough, I got to show you guys one more clip. Hold on, hold on. See this clip right here also from Synapse. You saw that correctly. They went to the spawn, came back with a Trizuka, and then shot it off. I don't know what's been happening. I don't know what's been going on, but the game has been acting insane. It, it's been to a point where, like, I, as I said, the game is still fun. I get it. I'm, I'm not saying that. It's just that the, the online to me is a little bit. It's a it's a little bit hectic, and I, I hope that they can get this under like like control soon. I don't know why it's been taking so long for them to like get it done, but please, please, like either make I, I don't understand. Like I know Nintendo is like one of those companies that where they will no response is their response. Like a lot of the times, like they will never give you a response for anything. Like they just do, and then that's really it. But something like this where it's a service, and I'm not saying that the service costs a lot because I don't think that $20 is really that big of a deal. Personally, that's me talking about it. I don't think it's that big of a deal. But I, I, I do think that if you do have people paying for something like this and these issues have been prevalent and other people have been bringing them up, I do think that at some point in time, you got to address the issue. You can't just look at everybody and be like, oh, it, it works in Japan. No, but it doesn't work in like, you know, other places. And yes, as you can hear in my voice, I am frustrated. The reason why I'm frustrated is because of the fact that I like Splatoon, but the connection really feels like I'm fighting against the game and I don't want to fight against the game. I don't want to have to like legitimately guess where the person is going to be. I would like to react a little bit instead of like basically trying to predict where they're going the whole entire time because their connection is different and it feels like the lobby speeds just are at different times, but let me know what you think. Do you think that this has actually been an issue or maybe I'm overblowing it? I don't know, maybe, cause I, I know, as I said, as number one professional yapper, I get it, I understand. And if you wanna be a part of more yapping, by the way, I, I'm going to be doing something interesting on my Twitch. I'm going to be doing Ken Knows More. So we're just going to be trying to like, you know, talk about the topics in more depth that we may have went over. Maybe I'll do some reactions from the videos that maybe I showed. And as I said, follow me on my Twitch. Please, can I ask you guys a question? How would you feel if you lost a match like this?
Now, this tweet was from Chase. And as you guys saw, yes, they lost after basically popping off Loki. Like they got they got a quick double. They were able to then get the next like direct on the Dapples. And sadly enough, there was a mine that went off that took away the paint and they weren't able to get up and they lost the match. Now, a lot of people would look and be like, yo, this might have been the Blaster's fault. But no, 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 no. This is the state of Splatoon 3 solo queue. And to be honest, what ended up happening is basically his team just didn't paint. That That's actually what happened. The, the team just didn't paint. They didn't paint the ground. Like the arrow spray literally could have painted the ground for them. The blaster can't paint to get up there. Like, yes, they could have possibly got a shot off, but more than likely you would hope that your team would shoot. I would be so irritated. I, I'm going to be honest. I, I, I feel bad for this person because they went in to try to save the game as much as they possibly could. And Chase got lucky. Like they got saved by the fact that people don't know how to paint in Splatoon. <laughs> Like, it's funny when you say it, like, think about it for a second. People don't know how to paint in Splatoon. I'm telling you, Nintendo needs to put painting lessons because that's actually insane. I feel bad for the blaster that I had to go through that. And that's absolutely hilarious. So for our last topic, we're going to talk about don't listen to these pros because they are lying. No, I'm joking. This is about the current state of Splatoon 3. And as many of you guys know, Trizuka has been basically taking over the game. A lot of people have referenced the fact that this is basically K-Shot 2.0. Obviously, it's not missiles, but you have basically people spamming shots at you from across the map. And one of the funny things about this was a very good player by the name of Zero, who I've had an opportunity to meet multiple times in New York, actually. People are complaining about double or triple Zuka, but forget we had triple Crab and Machine. Just saying that meta was the worst and almost killed the game. And so many players almost quit because of it. LOL, LOL. Stop saying this meta is worse. It's not. Now, I need you guys to look at this picture because this is the picture that uh, of the person that spoke about this tweet. This is who spoke. This, this is what was speaking right now. I want you to know this. Now, if you guys don't understand, Mr. 3K over here is very good with Splattershot. He's probably one of the best players with Splattershot. Now, I will say that he is ca probably capitalizing off of this meta more than anybody else, and I understand it. N and he's a perfect representation of those that love Splattershot. Because th this is not just him. There's other people that have brought this up. Now, for me personally, as a person that's just seen it in solo, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. They, uh, Zuka might be a little bit overbearing. Now, it didn't hit comp. When it comes to crab tank, like comp crab tank, that was totally different. Like if that was not in rank when I was playing it I, 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 and I was playing a lot more heavily before now, even in series, you're going to get bombarded by Trizuka. So I, I think that Nintendo, they did make a change. They want to see how that change works out. Possibly next season, they're going to do something. But there are other people even just saying when it comes down to it, you shut your mouth. <laughs> And then they put like, I guess it's like, I, I don't know if that actually is a translation, but triple Zuka death barrage. <laughs> and it is actually. So the, the funny thing is I came up with this image that uh, is basically the old image of the caveman SpongeBob um, incident. And basically this is the current state of Splatoon 3. As you can see, there are your Trizukas. And on top of that, there is Cooler. So the game right now is, yeah, you kind of have to play these variations of, of the meta. And I don't know. Do you guys like it more? Do you guys like this, the Trizuka meta, better than the Crab meta? Let me know down below in the comments. Seriously, like, is this something on your heart right now? Or do you not care? And I, and I could very much understand that. But I'm going to catch you guys later. Thank you guys for watching my videos. As I said, we've been getting a lot of support. We've been getting a lot of just people hitting me up and telling me how much they like them. Thank you. It means a lot to me. Thank you. I see them in the comments. I appreciate you guys that just leave comments to try to help out. Hey, man, as I said, if we can get this video up to a decent amount of likes, that would really help. I, I, I would really appreciate it. And as I said, we are trying to push on to 20K. You're trying to hit that 20K. So if you guys want to do that, please don't forget to subscribe. And I'm going to catch you guys later.
Have an amazing day. Peace out.